Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and this is a really cool little hack inside of OneNote. You guys are going to like this a whole bunch. If you use a stylus with a Windows tablet, hit that like button and subscribe right now. All right, so let's jump in. This is a really cool way to get an animated background inside of OneNote. I have um, a lot of time spent in OneNote, and I really like this. I'm going to show you a couple different things here. So uh, the uh, artist pad from Tablet Pro now has a slim mode. So you can see that uh, right over here. And I just recently updated my computer. So it's actually working really, really well inside of OneNote. So I'm going to go into the different tools that you need here. Uh, number one, this is Tablet Pro. And then uh, you're going to want the pen tool, which is part of Tablet Pro. And that's going to give you extra button functions on the stylus. And then give you some extra controls here. Okay, so let's expand this out. This is the larger mode. And you can hide and show the taskbar. And let's go back to the smaller one because I think it's pretty cool. Okay, and then what you're going to need is uh, Lively. So let's, uh, let's see, down here is Lively Wallpapers. And I'll put a link to this super easy to install and I'm gonna show you the settings for that. Okay, so let's go right here and we're gonna double click on Lively Wallpaper. Now, I was not able to get this to work before, which is uh, unfortunate. Uh, let's switch it here to Waves. Okay, so here, if I'm tapping on the screen, you're not going to see much going on. Uh, but if I use these buttons here to click a location, you're going to see it's going to turn, uh, which is pretty cool. Okay, and then what is the other one I really liked? There's one of these that... triangles. This one I thought was pretty cool. So this one's nice and dark. It's, it's not overpowering anything. And again, you can change the uh, transparency here to different levels. But here, when you click, it moves this kind of triangle light pattern underneath where you're clicking, which is, is pretty cool. I like that. All right, so Lively, in order to get this to work, you need to go into Settings and Performance at the very bottom, Direct 3D Pause Algorithm. By default, Foreground Process, we want to set it to Direct 3D. And this is just going to give us that extra function that we need. Okay, here with rain, I have a personal background on it. This is the picture I did. And to, to do that, you're just going to uh, right click on the file and choose customize. And then you can pick your file here, but you have to import it. Not too hard. And um, I love this. Okay, so there's a couple practical applications. I intend to do a full actual course on OneNote note-taking, and it'll include um, how to use Cortana shortcuts. It's gonna include a bunch of different things here. Let's use transparency so I can see a video. I've it has one background. magnetic point. This has two. All right, so I would take notes. I'd say one magnetic point, two magnetic points, and uh, let's do this and erase that and try it again. All right, so I, I think this is really cool, and then I can continue. So dramatically better with uh, whatever class or whatever I'm trying to learn. This is super, super cool. And I can block that out completely. I like this. I think you guys will like it a lot too. All right, that's my quick little hack video. If you guys have questions about it, put in the comment section. Uh, the whole thing only takes a couple minutes to get set up. It's not bad at all. And if you have questions or you get stuck, just put a comment and I will help you out. All right, stay creative. I'll see you in the next video.